Uh, I don't want to go back to school. Uh, I'm. I don't want to go back. Why? Why do I have to go back? All my friends, they're not going back. They're they're doing remote. I, I know. I know. I will do better with logging on to my classroom and paying attention. I will do better. I I swear. I will not be buying any more pens at Gold Spot. I swear. I will be doing my studies. I won't be buying any more pens. It, you have to believe me. You have to believe me. It's just. Just wait a second, wait a second. I have to do this video about the top pens. The end of August feels much different as an adult than it does for a child going back to school. This year going back to school feels even weirder due to COVID. One thing remains the same though. We all still need to do the work, learn, and grow. To aid in note-taking, organizing, planning, and idea creation, I wrote a back-to-school guide for essential tools, even if you're learning remotely. Check it out on the Goldspot Pens blog. Let's fight the back-to-school blues together and check out the hottest pens at goldspot.com. Here's a quick disclaimer about this list. These top five pens are based on sales, likes, comments, and customer reviews on goldspot.com during the month of August 2020. This isn't our personal top five list or greatest of all time list. It's a list created by you, the fine people of the online pen community. Number five on our list is the Parker Jotter XL Monochrome Ballpoint Pen. So in 2018, Parker introduced the XL Jotter. It's 7% larger than the standard Jotter. Its measurements go five and one eighth of an inch long by three eighths of an inch in diameter, which is 130 millimeters by 10 millimeters. So slightly bigger, slightly a little bit more heftier, I suppose, because of the additional material. And, uh, you know, just has like a little bit more of a grand appearance. But what they added to it this month were these new monochrome colors. So these new monochrome colors are very like Apple-esque. Uh, I, they have the all black version, there's the gold, the stainless steel, and the rose gold. Each design has a matte finished body except for the stainless steel which is more or less uh, all polished stainless steel. But the rest of them have like a matte finished body with a polished arrow clip. The top knock here, the little push button clicker is also polished. And a very subtle engraving of Parker and the little arrow logo on the barrel here. Inside of the Jotter XL is the tried and true Parker Quink Flow ballpoint pen refill. This refill is quite ubiquitous, so you can find this in a variety of different manufacturers, not just Parker, but Parker is the originator, and pretty much any type of ballpoint pen usually uh, uses this type of refill cartridge, so the Jotters use it as well. It has a very satisfying click action, very sturdy feeling. And just overall has a nice, pleasing sort of feel in hand. Uh, very easy to hold. It's not too heavy, yet it doesn't feel like a cheap and expensive type pen. However, this is actually quite approachable in terms of its price point. I mean, a usual jotter you could buy anywhere from about like, I think 10 to $20, depending on the style. But these Jotter XLs retail for $34 in this new monochrome collection. And we have them on sale for $27.20 at Goldspot Pens. All right, so next on our list is the Caveco Sport Transparent Turquoise Goldspot Exclusive Fountain Pen. This is a 2019 retailer exclusive limited production. It has 38 five-star reviews on goldspot.com. I don't think that there's anything else that has that many five-star reviews because we had sold a lot of them since last year. So in order to uh, participate in one of these retailer exclusives, you have to buy a lot of pens. So it's a lot for us to be able to take on, but uh, we couldn't have been happier with the response. We couldn't be happier with the design. It is the quintessential pocket pen. So when you're looking for something that has got plenty of utility, uh, but fits in a very small spot, but these guys are really small when you have them capped, but when you unscrew the cap and you post it on the back, it becomes a pretty normal size fountain pen. So, uh, and very easy and uh, lightweight to use because of the, the 
resin. The Essentially, it's just like a plastic pen. The Sport has a faceted cap, so when you have it capped, you could leave it resting on there. It's not gonna roll away. And the cylindrical barrel, which accommodates a international style ink cartridge, or one of these sport converters, which is like a slide converter. So you would plug this in like you would an ink cartridge, and then you'd be able to uh, draw up the ink using this little uh, slide piston that's here. Also, if you're daring, you could put some silicone grease around these section threads here, then fill up the barrel with ink and convert this pen into an eyedropper fill. Use the entire barrel uh, as your capacity for ink in there. So uh, that is quite daring though, because if you're taking this pen around with you a lot and it's let's say getting subjected to varying levels of air pressure or temperature or just being jostled around in your pocket, might get an inky mess, like especially if you're like a little bit less than halfway uh, of the capacity of ink in there. So also to note on the cap is that we have the Coveco Sport logo in silver, and then we also have the medallion at the very top too. Inside we have a inner capped seal, so that when you cap the pen, the inner cap seal seals in the nib and keeps it fresh while you have it you're not writing with it. The available nib sizes on a normal sport would be extra fine through broad and then you'd have a couple of uh, stub nibs but on this transparent turquoise we don't have that many of them left. We had to actually let everybody know this a little bit earlier this month and I think that's what really triggered the uh, response in buying up a bunch of these transparent turquoise pens but we do still have fine or extra fine available and you can customize it as well so that in case you really like a pocket clip these pocket clips are additional, uh, of course, like the piston converter would be something you could buy additionally, and you could fit it right over the cap and be able to clip it to your shirt pocket, like so. So it's a pretty neat pen that has got a lot of potential and just not as a starter pen, but it could be something that you could have and write with uh, for many years, even when you do upgrade to other uh, nicer fine writing instruments, but um, this is a great pen to have as a journey pen or as a pen that just join you for the rest of your life. It's, it's, a, it's a great sturdy uh, German made pen. $25, you really can't go wrong with the Kaveco Sport. All right, next on our list is the Twisby Eco Cement Gray Fountain Pen. This is a 2020 special edition and these Ecos are like candy for collectors because they come out periodically throughout the entire year and they'll come out in different new designs, some of them with opaque resin, some of them with translucent resin, uh, but they're always interesting and always offer different types of colors depending on whatever style that you prefer. The difference with this versus any other Twisby Eco is going to be your cap, which is made out of a opaque gray resin, a little uh, Twisby red insignia on top, and then you have the piston knob back finial, which is also gray and this is faceted as well. And with any of the uh, Ecos, you'd have this transparent barrel, a cylindrical transparent barrel of which you could completely see whatever ink is inside of your, of your pen. And you could see the operation of this twist uh, piston mechanism. It operates extremely smoothly up and down the barrel here. And then you could also see the uh, feed, the plastic feed that's in here, and then the Yovo number no. four size stainless steel nib. So the cap has a potato peeler clip, which some people refer to, and a wedding ring style cap band. The piston fill mechanism has a 1.5 milliliter capacity and can be disassembled for thorough cleaning. Included with your purchase of the Eco is the various accoutrement that allows you to disassemble your Twisby Eco, which is the Twisby wrench, and to put it all back together and make sure it's properly sealed and that the piston is moving upwards and downwards in a uh, smooth way, you have a silicone grease as well. The Yovo number no. 4 size nib is available in extra fine, fine, medium, broad, and a 1.1 millimeter stub. For $30.99, I doubt that you could find a piston fill uh, that has that much value and really knows like what the customer would love to have in a pen that will last them a long time in terms of uh, having that sense of ownership and that ability to take apart your pen, clean it after, uh, let's say, putting a really thick shimmery ink in there and, uh, and just being able to 
uh, tinker with it if you'd like. So it's a the, the Eco is a is a really nice pen um, that is hard to resist for people who like collecting these different colors, uh, and uh, and something that if you enjoy this gray and it has to be part of your collection, jump on it sooner than later because they always tend to sell out. And although we'll receive supplemental shipments of them, who knows when they'll end up stop making these in this particular color. Number two on our list is the Conklin 120th Anniversary Crescent Filler Fountain Pen. Now, Conklin's anniversary actually happened in 2018. Uh, however, this pen was on our weekly dip special last week and did extremely well. And with the amount of inventory that we had left over from this limited edition, uh, pretty much sold out. Uh, we only have maybe a few more of these blue pens and they also came in an orange and a red. And I believe the red is the only one that's left as an alternative color. So there was 120 pieces made per color. So it's 360 pens made total. And it was done in the Mark Twain Crescent Filler design, uh, which the reason why it's called Mark Twain is because Mark Twain really enjoyed Conklin pens and he was actually the brand spokesperson uh, back in the day. And the reason why he enjoyed it so much was because the pen actually contained its own ink. Uh, authors at that time, especially at the early onset stages of the golden age of fountain pens, they didn't actually contain their own ink. So you'd have to dip everything or you'd have to fill it using an eyedropper. But this pen was celebrated as a self-filling pen using this crescent mechanism. So this crescent, when you press down on it and you've got the locking ring so that the separation uh, goes right underneath the crescent, when you push down on it, it will actually press down on a bladder. Uh, on a little sack that's inside the pen running lengthways here. And what that will do is that it'll expel any air out of the pen. And then when you release it upwards, it releases the, the sack that's inside, draws up ink through the feed and the nib there. And then if when you're done with that, you turn the locking ring so that you don't accidentally press on this crescent and then thus expelling ink when you don't mean it to. Uh, so in this 120th anniversary, usually these pens uh, Conklin would make out of uh, acrylics or resins, uh, but they made this pen, the whole entire barrel is metal. It's kind of like a matte finish gray metal, and so is the cap here. And then you have your accents are translucent resin. So it's a highly different take, a very, uh, I'd say like modern style take on a classic design vintage inspired pen. And uh, I mean, this was a, a trademark of Conklin's and one of the trademarks they brought uh, with this edition was the rocker clip, uh, which is a clip that you could see the, the bracket is kind of set in the middle so that you could press on the top. So it's not spring loaded, but it just, re it just relies on the tension of that metal that's coming out from sort of the mid portion of this clip here. And it's got Conklin's stamped on the, on the top here. Uh, pretty, you know, like significant trademark for, uh, for Conklin. And also one of the neat upgrades or the neat innovations to the Conklin line was the OmniFlex nib, which is what comes standard on any of these 120th anniversary pens. Kind of looks like a squid sort of design. Uh, what the purpose of it, if you don't know already, is that it allows for line variation by pressing on the nib as you push down on the downstroke, the nib tines separate, allowing for a thicker flourish of line. We actually demonstrated this on Instagram on our Write It Wednesday post that we did last week. And uh, I think that's really what sealed the deal for a lot of people was just seeing this in action because a lot of people hear about the OmniFlex nib. Uh, it's not like a vintage nib, of course, it's not a wet noodle, um, but it does provide some line variation. And what we also did as well was offer this pen with an additional bonus 1.1 millimeter stub nib that was also in black. Uh, so you could have either the manual line variation with being able to press it with the OmniFlex, or you could have the automatic line variation with using the 1.1 millimeter stub. Originally, it was a $295 retail pen, and we have them, what very little we have left, we have it on sale for $99. And it also includes a bottle of 120th anniversary blue Conklin ink. So, Pretty neat package overall. I think it's a pretty good value. Very few of them left and we're keeping that price until we end up selling out of all of these pens. 
And lastly, but not leastly, your number one for August of 2020 top pen of the month is the Pelican Souverain 805 Blue Dunes Fountain Pen. And you might be thinking to yourself, if you've watched any of our top five videos in the past, you're like, there's no retro pen at number one? It's like, no. We had, uh, we did not actually have a release this month uh, with Retro, uh, not an exclusive or I think even a popper. Those are coming. Uh, but uh, this Blue Dunes Fountain Pen was actually in 2019. This was a special edition. And we actually saw this getting made right in front of our eyes in Germany when we went to go visit the Pelican factory in Hanover. Uh, I think the particular part that we were watching happen was when they took the caps and they actually do the injection molding of like a plastic inner uh, cap uh, into the Italian acrylic. Um, and when I saw this coming out of the machine and they were doing two of them at a time, when they saw this coming out of the machine, I was like, this does not look like any Pelican pen that I know exists. And of course, like I prod Jens, who was taking us on a, on the tour of the place, and uh, and he was like, no, that's actually a special edition that's coming out uh, in the next month or so. By the time that we got back and we got settled in, in June, July, that's when we found out about this Blue Dunes. And uh, it is a phenomenal Italian acrylic. It's blue, of course, um, but it's got so much else going on with it that just it just attracts uh, anybody who really is a lover of blue, there's a lot more going on with, than just a normal blue pen. Uh, first of all, you've got the noticeable black whorls that go through it. You have a chatoyance, so this kind of reflection that's going on the light here when I turn the pen. And also, too, as you really take a close look at it, you see a sort of a shimmering, uh, sort of not, not glitter per se, but just like a pearlescent. Uh, sort of look about the area there. And then also it's really, really translucent. So not quite transparent, but when you cap the pen, you could see the nib going clearly into the cap. And then you could see through to the barrel, even though the barrel's slightly thicker, a little bit more opaque, um, you could still see the uh, piston mechanism as you move it up and down. So you'd be able to see the ink level on the inside as well. It's a beautiful, beautiful uh, design. I actually have uh, my buddy Mike to thank uh, for getting this as a, a weekly dip special because uh, he was interested in picking one of these up and I said to him, you know what, sometimes, and this is not very often, but sometimes Pelican may give us an incentive to buy the very last remaining part of a special edition. So that's what we ended up doing was that this was coming to an end and we said, you know what, we want to buy X amount of pens, what's the best price that you could do? So then what we do is we take that price and we pass along the savings to the consumer via the weekly dip special. And that's why we have this as our number one is that this uh, was featured as a weekly dip special, limited amounts of all the pens that we had, but we sold quite a few of them. So uh, pretty happy with how that turned out. Um, a little bit more details about the pen is that you've got these palladium plated silver trims. This is an 18 karat gold nib that much like other Pelican pens, like the Classic and the Souverain lines, it just screws right out. Very easy to swap if you'd like. And you have the patented piston differential mechanism, which is so smooth and operates flawlessly. And I know from experience of owning Pelican pens that, you know, even years down the road, you're not gonna have much of an issue with this uh, piston operating or getting a little sticky or anything like that. Very, very reliable. And what adds to the luxury of this pen, not only because of it's a little bit larger size than a normal pen, so it's a little on the oversized side, is that the piston mechanism is brass as opposed to being made out of uh, plastic parts. So this brass piston mechanism adds a significant heft to the overall pen and, uh, and just feels great in the hand, uh, especially when you have the cap post. It could be a little bit long for me particularly, but I think it works well unposted as well. It's got a great feel to it nice size uh, and just absolutely gorgeous to look at. So the Pelican nibs, what you would expect with a Pelican nib is, uh, is that you're going to have a, a smoother, a wetter, and a little bit broader of a line than you would be used to with other European style nibs. For example, this Blue Dunes came in extra fine, fine, medium, and broad. And if you were to, let's say, get an extra fine, you'd probably be more looking at like a fine point, you know, in, in other 
uh, Western style type nib. Uh, just always kind of take that into consideration when you're picking a nib size in a Pelican. It's usually going to be a little bit running on the broader side, but it'll be a very, very smooth, nice and wet nib. All right, so weekly dip special, as I mentioned, price was much, much lower during that week, but now you could actually still get it for a pretty decent price as well. So regularly $7.75, we are selling it for 30% off at $542.50. Limited pieces, like I said, and special editions. So when these pens sell out, Pelican's not going to be making any more of this. And uh, I mean, it's just a beautiful, beautiful blue uh, acrylic pen and wonderful design and quality craftsmanship from Pelican. So there you have our top five pens of August, 2020. So what can we expect in September? We have Labor Day coming up September 7th. The Gold Spot office and our shipping department will be closed. So it's one of our holidays that we observe here. Post office is also closed as well. We'll be back at the office September 8th. So during that weekend, if you don't hear from us right away, it's because we're trying to catch up on things on Tuesday and whatnot. What we're also expecting product wise in September is the Pilot Vanishing Point limited edition for 2020 called the Black Lynx. It's a very conservative kind of style, very similar to that, let's say that guilloche uh, pattern from a couple years ago, uh, but very sophisticated and also very limited as well. So those tend to be a hot commodity once they come out. Uh, speaking of hot commodities, we have new Gold Spot exclusives that we're planning on launching in September as well. So stay tuned for that. And a rapid fire succession of new Retro 51 Popper Limited Editions. We're so excited for the roller coaster ride that you guys are gonna go through when it comes to all these new poppers that are gonna be coming out because there's quite a few of them and they're not gonna stop. So it's kind of like a fireworks show. So we had lots of, you know, every other month I think there was one, but from September onwards, you know, buckle up, it's gonna be crazy. Uh, plus of course, more weekly dips. So like what we were mentioning with the Conklin and the, and the Pelican here, uh, we also we have weekly dips every week. So if you want to sign up for our newsletter and keep your eyes peeled on our Instagram account because we always show the Write It Wednesday giveaway, which is also what we're putting usually putting up on our weekly dip special. So uh, if you see something that is an awesome pen that is at an extra discount, that's a great time to go and grab one and stay abreast of all of the various updates within the pen world as including new releases and whatnot by keeping your eyes on our Right Stuff newsletter. So I appreciate you guys tuning in and thank you to everybody who supports Gold Spot Pens by liking, commenting, and purchasing on goldspot.com. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you, my friends. Mm -hmm.